Hello everyone, Phil here to bring you more crypto content and in this video I am going to cover everything you need to know about storing cryptocurrency in a wallet. A cryptocurrency wallet is a software program that stores private and public keys and interacts with various blockchains to enable users to send and receive digital currency and monitor their balance. If you want to use Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, you will need to have a digital wallet. There are several types of wallets that provide different ways to store and access your digital currency. Wallets can be broken down into three distinct categories, software, hardware, and paper. Software wallets can be a desktop, mobile, or online. Desktop wallets are downloaded and installed on a PC or laptop. They are only accessible from a single computer in which they are downloaded. Desktop wallets offer one of the highest levels of security. However, if your computer is hacked or gets a virus, there's a possibility that you may lose all your funds. Online wallets run on the cloud and are accessible from any computing device in any location. While they are more convenient to access, Online wallets store your private keys online and are controlled by a third party which makes them more vulnerable to hacking attacks and theft. Mobile wallets run on the app on your phone and are useful because they can be used anywhere including retail stores. Mobile wallets are usually much smaller and simpler than desktop wallets because of the limited space available on mobile. Hardware wallets differ from software wallets in that they store a user's private keys on a hardware device like a USB. Although hardware wallets make transitions online, they are stored offline which delivers increased security. Hardware wallets can be compatible with several web interfaces and can support different currencies. It just depends on which one you decide to use. What's more, making a transaction is easy. Users simply plug in their device to any internet-enabled computer or device, enter a PIN, send currency, and confirm. Hardware wallets make it possible to easily transact while also keeping your money offline and away from danger. Paper wallets are easy to use and provide a very high level of security. While the term paper wallet can simply refer to a physical copy or printout of your public and private keys, it can also refer to a piece of software that is used to securely generate a pair of keys which are then printed. Using a paper wallet is relatively straightforward. Transferring Bitcoin or any other currency to your paper wallet is accomplished by the transfer of funds from your software wallet to the public address shown on your paper wallet. Alternatively, if you want to withdraw and spend currency, all you need to do is transfer funds from your paper wallet to your software wallet. This process, often referred to as sweeping, can either be done manually by entering your private keys or by scanning the QR code on the paper wallet. Wallets are secure to varying degrees. The level of security depends on the type of wallet you use and the service provider. Although online wallets have proven the most vulnerable and prone to hiking attacks, Diligent security precautions need to be implemented and followed when using any wallet. Similarly, if your wallet gets hacked or you send money to a scammer, there is no way to reclaim that lost currency or reverse the transaction. You must take up precautions and be very careful. You want to back up your wallet, store only small amounts of currency for everyday use online, on your computer or mobile. Keep the vast majority of your funds in a high security environment. Code or offline storage options for backup like Ledger Nano S or paper or USB will protect you against computer failures and allow you to recover your wallet should it be lost or stolen. It will not, however, protect you against eager hackers. The reality is, if you choose to use an online wallet, there are inherent risks that can't always be protected against. Always update your software. Keep your software up to date so that you have the latest security enhancements available. You should regularly update not only your wallet software but also the software on your computer or mobile. Add extra security layers. The more layers of security, the better. 
Setting long and complex passwords and ensure any withdrawal of funds require a password is a start. Use wallets that have good reputation and provide extra security layers like two-factor authentication and additional PIN code requirements every time a wallet application gets opened. Many would agree that right now, a Ledger Nano S most likely a more secure way to store your cryptocurrency and right now I'm gonna walk you through on how to set it up. Before we get started though, there are a few things about your ledger purchase to be aware of. First, it's highly recommended that you only purchase a ledger from the official website. Doing so ensures that the wallet you receive has not been tampered with. Second, just because your ledger isn't compromised doesn't mean your computer isn't. Make sure that your computer is clean with up-to-date antivirus software before connecting your ledger. Third, don't rush setting up or operating the wallet. Some parts can be tricky, and a small mistake could mean the loss of your funds. Alright, now that you know that, let's get started. First, you want to open up the box and get comfortable with the hardware. It's a simple piece of metal, but it's not very intuitive. Um, there, there are basically four main parts you should know about. The screen, this is where the action is. It's small but contains almost every piece of important information. Addresses, menus, all that good stuff. Left button, as name suggests, this, navigate, this navigates you to the left. It also navigates you up in the vertical menu. Right button, that's right, you guessed it. Tapping this will move you right in horizontal menus and down in vertical menus. A swivel cover. This is a sleek cover to your wallet. Look at how shiny it is. Note that tapping both buttons at the same time is equivalent to hitting enter or confirm. Step 2. Update your firmware. Other than during this initial step, you should also do this each time Ledger release a new update. These updates contain bug fix, patches, and security improvements. Ledger has an up-to-date guide on exactly how to do this. Step 3. With your Ledger Nano S connected to your computer, follow the instructions on the wallet screen. You will most likely have to choose to create a new wallet. After that, set a PIN code. The PIN code is what you will enter to unlock the ledger each time you use it. This needs to be between 4 and 8 characters. The longer it is, the less of a chance someone will be able to guess it. Please don't be the guy who proves 0000 as his PIN code or her PIN code. Remember, you want to memorize your PIN code. Enter your PIN code incorrectly three times will reset your ledger. And then, write down your recovery phrases. You may also hear this called a recovery seed. This is what you need to enter if you ever lose your ledger or forget your PIN code. The wallet screen will show 24 words in a specific order. You need to write down the words on your recovery sheet in the exact same order. The recovery sheet should be included in the box with your ledger Nano S. Do note that your recovery sheet should not be pre-filled. A common scam, especially on eBay involving selling already activated ledgers with pre-filled recovery sheets. If your sheet already contains a recovery sheet, we recommend you to buy a new ledger from the official website. Once you have the recovery phrase written down, tap continue on the ledger. Next, the ledger will quiz you on a few different words to check that you wrote them out in the correct order. We recommend storing multiple copies of your recovery phrase in secure locations separate from where you keep your Ledger Nano S. And after confirming again, you should be set. You've now configured your Ledger Nano S and is ready to use. After configuring your Ledger Nano S, the next thing you want to do is install the appropriate apps. Each app has a slightly different interface and set of download instructions. There are three wallet apps you potentially use and one app managed to add to remove additional apps from your Ledger Nano S. You will need to connect and enter your PIN code on your Ledger Nano S to operate these apps. Note that the Ledger Nano S doesn't support every coin. Sometimes your only option for storage is the coin's official wallet. However, Ledger is continuously adding support for new coins, so be on the lookout for announcements. First we're going to look at is Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. This Bitcoin wallet app supports Bitcoin and you can download them on computers and you can download them on Windows, Mac, Linux or Chrome OS. Ledger Wallet Ethereum. 
Uh, this Ethereum wallet app supports Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and ERC20 tokens. It works in combination with My Ether wallet to secure your funds. You need Google Chrome for this one as it is a Chrome app, but with Chrome you can use it on Windows, Mac, and all that. And Ledger Manager. The Ledger Manager isn't a wallet, it's an app manager for other wallets that you can install on your Ledger Nano S. You need to use this to install wallets for altcoins like Dash or Dogcoin that aren't ERC20. This is also where you update your firmware after the initial setup. Besides Ledger Nano X, here are some other wallets. Exodus. Exodus is a relatively new and unknown digital wallet that is currently only available on desktop. It enables the storage and trading of Bitcoin. The good thing about Exodus is that it has good privacy and security. It's beginner friendly, intuitive, and easy to use. It has in-wallet trading and supports multiple currencies. It's an open source software and it is free to use. Uh, the cons of this is that it's a hot wallet and no web interface or mobile app is available. Jax is a multi-currency wallet and user interface. It has been designed to deliver a smooth Bitcoin and Ethereum experience. It is available on a variety of platforms and devices and connects with websites. The pro of Jax is that it has good privacy and security, it supports multi-currency, the wallet links across multiple platforms. It's very rich and user-friendly, and it, it is also free to use. The con is that the code is not open source, and it can be slow to load. So, which cryptocurrency wallet is the best? There is an ever-growing list of options. Before picking your wallet, you should, however, consider how you intend to use it, and ask yourself these questions. Do you need a wallet for everyday purchases or just buying and holding digital currency for investment? You plan to use several currencies and one single currency. Do you plan to use several currencies or just one single currency? Do you require access to your digital wallet from anywhere or trust from home? Take some time to access your requirements and then choose the most suitable wallet for you.